What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, today we're going to be doing a uh, service of a ST DuPont uh, lighter uh, made in France. It is gold plated and uh, this is I believe the model D57. It's uh, one of the original lighters uh, made by this company back in I believe 19... 53 so it's uh, quite an oldie and uh, we're basically going to go through the actual servicing of the lighter itself I'm um, going to be showing you how to replace the flint uh, we're going to be basically taking everything apart with the exception of the valve itself because I just I don't have the special valve tool so um, what you're going to need um, is one of these little pin things uh, you can get those in watch kits that is going to be used to remove the pin and, and take the um, actual uh, door off um, I purchased these before these are uh, legit uh, DuPont actual flints I, th I think you use aftermarket flints but whatever I got the the real ones and then you need this like special tip to actually fill it with um, butane and the butane we're gonna be using is Calibri it's the best kind uh, we got a little bit of alcohol here to clean some stuff we've got a hammer here to hammer the pin back in and uh, you do want to have a proper sized uh, screwdriver and this one easily turns uh, make sure it fits the screw uh, itself perfectly and then if you don't have the greatest of grip strength uh, you can use this to pull the, the little tiny parts off um, I use the WD-40 it doesn't really matter um, but if the springs need to be lubricated um, it's something I use and then I got like these little baby q-tips that's like more of a cell phone um, cleaning thing when you clean out your speaker or very small parts of your cell phone. So in order to not make a mess, you can spray a little bit of this um, on, uh, on your thing here. And what I like about this spray is it kind of turns into foam so it doesn't go like flying everywhere. So we're just going to let that marinate over there. Uh, we're going to use this blue towel to wipe any additional residue. And um, again, we're just going to be using that to lubricate the springs. And then you always want to have like a little part here, just a cup. This is actually the uh, other size of a silver dollar coin holder. And we're going to use that to place all our parts inside. So, all right, well, let's get started. So first things first, um, you want to check out the lighter itself. This little piece here is um, when it's serviced, meaning it's not like, you know, 80 years old and all crusted up uh, you're able to press down with your fingernail and pull it over and uh, this little spring here is what pushes the flint into the wheel that makes it um, ignite and right now it's missing because I took it out because I wanted to show you guys how to service it um, and this particular lighter does not have a dial um, it's it's a it's different so when you open this um, and then as soon as you strike this wheel here, this little pin here pokes up, which starts to emit gas. So again, I'll show you, we close it. This one doesn't have the monogram on it either, but you can, you can move that with a screw as well and change out the monogram. But anyway, see how it's depressed. And then as soon as I strike it, it pops up. And then when you close it, it presses down. So that's how you know you've installed it correctly. This has a really bad leak. Um, inside the valve itself so um, another thing that's different about this oh you do need a standard size screwdriver to open this up from the bottom here I don't think this is the original um, cap on the bottom here uh, just because of it, it looks a little discolored but maybe that's just how it's worn over time and what I found is very unique is unlike newer models when i mean newer like 60s and 70s models like the line one line two you can usually see a little bit of paint inside but this one has no paint at all inside so if you've got a tip like that and i believe it's supposed to be blue inside so this might just be like an aftermarket someone that put something in here many many years ago but i think it should be blue but anyways this is a little tip that uh, you want to get I got this tip from Amazon it was a bunch of tips that came with it I purchased the metal one and the metal one was a joke it would just leak um, everywhere so when you're looking at your tip of your can this just basically goes over it you want to look you know not a super tight seal but tight enough and then literally just push it in there so this is unique so there's like a little pin in here but when that pin is being depressed 
there then needs to be a seal and then the butane itself from these two little tips here spray all over the place but actually go inside as soon as the pins press down so this is literally the only kind of pin that it worked i was a little lucky before to actually get it to work just like putting in raw but it like worked once or twice out of 100 <laughs> so i guess i was really lucky so again don't kill yourself over trying to fill this with butane you must get this little tip and i got mine from amazon don't buy the metal ones um they're usually manufactured in china and they just they're not like milled properly so again the metal ones i bought for 15 bucks with a bunch of different tips did not fit over this properly i mean it was too loose so as soon as i pressed down and sprayed all the butane leaked out of the back and not into the actual lighter so long story short don't buy the metal ones but anyways here's the actual part here i'm just removing that because we will have to fill this with butane and then your next step is you want to take this um, the hinge door off. So these only go kind of one way. Um, one of these, uh, one side of the pin actually has like a little uh, thing to it. I don't know if I can show it here on my camera. So it's got kind of like, see those little barbs on the end here? Let's see if I can show it. Yep, there's little barbs here. So that's the side. Um, that you know basically can press out if you try and force it through this way this barb will basically give you resistance the entire way so again you just need a tool these you can get in watch kits and uh, watch kits are from amazon you get a decent one for like 20 bucks um and i've done this so many times and i've already lubed this where i can actually pull it out by hand but if you don't have like if it's old and it hasn't been done before you're gonna need some pliers just don't apply crazy pressure because you don't want to damage this you just want to pull you don't want to squeeze this and, and damage this because this part is probably 20 bucks if you lost it so i'm not going to be lubing that uh, if you want to you can um you know just kind of wipe it down with a towel but you really don't have to so anyways we'll put that part aside and now the door itself uh, comes off. Now there is a little spring inside here on this part. So you want to open it like this and then take it off. So this, there's this little spring with a, um, like a round thing to accept this ball. So again, uh, you just pull that out, but you have to, when you put it back together, you literally have to put it in just right. And then make sure you're pushing into the spring, um, at the same time so i'll show that when i actually assemble the lighter back together uh, so the next piece uh, now that the door is off is you want to again press down and that should slide like that now if you're, if you're playing with an older lighter that hasn't been serviced or touched in like over 20 years or even longer there's a good chance like this part inside gets all crusted up because the old flint here turns into absolute green garbage and actually turns back into stone so it'll be very difficult to um, pull this back but I'm gonna again show you so when you clip it that thing snaps in and then when you clip it down it, ad it automatically moves sideways and again there's a little spring in there so be careful so you can take this out completely some of the old lighters will actually have a spare flint uh, inside down in this crevice here but um, let me get my flashlight here so I can show you guys better okay I just realized I was thought I was recording but I wasn't so we're gonna have to redo this so um, this will be reassembling it <laughs> I'll have to see how this video looks when I'm all done all right so I think I was I had it all taken apart so we're gonna we're gonna put this back together All right, so I was at the part that this valve was out, so let's take this back out. It's one of those, it's gonna be one of those videos. I don't edit my videos, guys, I just like pause it, so. Um, anyways, so I think I was at this part where it was completely empty and I was reassembling. So when you're reassembling um, this uh, pin here, uh, it has a rounded edge and then it has a flat edge. So when you're reassembling, here's the actual, I guess, gasket or valve thingy. You wanna make sure the flat part is into the device like this. 
So that way the rounded part is going inserting into your lighter. So I'm going to install it upside down because if I install it downward, this thing can come off and then be all loose inside. So you just want to go like this, take your lighter and we're putting it back in that hole here. And we're going to install it upside down. And then you want to hand tighten it. Still keep it upside down. Insert your screwdriver here. And you don't want to go too fast. You want to be, you know, nice to your lighter. All right, and that's. You don't have to go crazy with tightening it and stripping stuff. Just put in there so it's tight enough. And then next, we're going to be installing this with the spring and the little metal cap here. So pretty straightforward. Uh, let's put the cap down. So we're going to have this part here with the spring. And you're going to first insert, insert it with the smaller part this way. So it goes down in there. And then if you want, you can lubricate this part with a little bit of oil. So just take a little bit here and just keep that from rusting. Or if it's crusty, you know, like clean it out. All right, so we got that. And then when you push on it, it should go up and down pretty easily. And now if that doesn't, like if you push down and it stays down or it doesn't move freely, you're going to have an issue and your lighter is not going to work properly. So this could be a problem of a valve leak or just your lighter leaking in general. Here's where it gets interesting. So we're going to take this little itty bitty piece. We're going to put it on here. <laughs> this is so hard. I, I think this is where it goes. It could be a spacer for something else. So, but again, someone that probably originally serviced this lighter isn't alive anymore. So we're gonna take our lighter again upside down and insert it. Okay. So when you do it properly, this should be able to go up and down and stay in the up position. And now we're going to take our, our spring and if your part falls off here, it's okay. You can install the spring on its own. So we'll show that. So this has a little uh, tip part here. It looks like a staple actually. So that part goes right in the, the part up the top here, this little hole. And that's how the spring is installed. And then you can take your part that uh, turns the valve on and off and install it like this. Just make sure the spring is in the back of it. Okay, like that. I think that's how you put it in. And then this part goes in like this. Actually, that spring's in the wrong position. We want the spring to be in the inside, not on the outside of this clip. So I'm going to take this out. I think it's easier if you first install the spring onto the the on-off mechanism first. So like that. You guys see it? 
so now it's in the inside. All right, let's put this back on. I think it's easier just to do it like that, and then that little part there is there, and then just move that over and slip that into position to the hole. <laughs> it's so easy to do when you're not filming. Almost got it. There we go. I used my nail to get that in there. All right, now we can put the wheel back on. And again, it only goes in one direction. So again, as this spins, it see how it clips like that? And that allows the valve to go up and down. Okay, next we want to take our valve part here that goes back into this hole that was our flint clip I guess or our flint spring so you can install that you can lube this part as well so it goes in like that and then this flat part faces outward and then don't forget about your door spring you got to put that back It actually goes in this piece here. So let's scroll down here. So we've got our door spring back in. We've got our flint thing in there. And you want to basically just... Oh, and then here's where it gets fancy. You have to take your flint wheel and again make sure the shape side is down and the circle part is up. So let's take this out and you put it in like this. And then you got to get that part in lined up, the wheel lined up, everything lined up. And then it all should depress together. That part needs to go back in there. So then you have to like hold it. And then while you're holding it down, you can like hold it like this. Let me zoom out here. And just make sure this turns. So if you click that down, make sure it stays in down position. And as soon as you strike the lighter, it goes up. So we know we've assembled it correctly. Now we're gonna put our screws back. And you could lubricate the tips of the screws. Again, don't go crazy. You don't need the whole thing filled with oil. Um, it's just to make taking the screws out for the next guy a lot easier. Because over time, all this heat can like build up. Heat and dirt create friction, and you're not going to be able to get this disassembled very easily. So we're not going to go super tight on those. My other screw. And 
And it helps if your screwdriver is somewhat magnetic. Okay, we've got that in there. And now we're going to install our flint. And the flints have like a flat side and like a rounded side. So you always want to install the rounded side facing towards the wheel. And you can take your little where did it go? This little part here and just push the flint in. And then you can lubricate this as well. I've already done it. And then this only goes in one way. And then it'll actually, f the spring will force it in and you'll get a spark. See the spark. All right, now for the fun part is putting this door back in. Or so see that little part there and this little tip here. So we take it, we push it, and then we push into the lighter at the same time. Because it you have to give it has to give you some friction back, so it only goes in one way. Okay, so it goes in, and then you close the lighter, hold it together, and remember our pin only goes in one way. So you've got the shredded, the, the side that has like little barbs on it. That's not the part you put in first. You put in the rounded part, just like we disassembled it. It'll stick out a little bit, which is okay. You can just take a rubber hammer, hammer that back in, and then just make sure the edges are not poking out because if they are, you will cut yourself while you're using this. All right, and now we're gonna fill it up with some lighter fluid. Again, my valve is leaking, so this is make a giant flame. So let me zoom out. So hopefully this helps you guys. Again, we want the two little pinholes here. I'm just gonna fill it a little bit because like I said, I gotta ship this out. It's already sold. And it's crazy high. <laughs> so that's what happens when you have a broken valve. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. So Appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, hopefully this saves you a lot of aggravation with your DuPont D57 1953 vintage lighter. Have a nice one, guys. I'm going to shut this off before I burn my house down. <laughs> Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.